So I am back in uh, Siam. This is uh, one of the most center stations in, in Bangkok and I was here a lot in 2017. I remember vividly uh, Center Point, uh, Siam Center. Uh, there's MBK nearby, Siam Paragon uh, and all the cool stuff. Uh, so happy to be back. My hotel was here before so I know the area quite well. This time I'm staying at Nana Station, which is uh, three stations away on BTS uh, Skytrain. So it's not too bad. Uh, so I'm just gonna go explore a little bit, and at around 3 p.m., uh, I will meet up with my friend, uh, and then we'll go have a mango sticky rice, things like that. Oh wow, you know. I don't think I know this place actually. This is new. Yeah, this is. Well, okay. Oh, this is not new actually. This is Siam Discovery. Um, there was a DJ event here before. Uh, really cool. I think, you know, events like that was what attracted me to Bangkok in 2017. And, and I, I, I think because they have so many of these like really cool events. Uh, like in here, there was the DJ event. And Sayon Paragon is very fancy and, and very high class. And then you see these, like, this is such a big uh, marketing campaign, Dini. Or whatever. Oh, it's an official Japan pavilion of some sort. I, I'm just so happy to be back in, in Paragon because this is, this is the place that, um, that made me think. Uh, that Bangkok is so much more developed than many other Asian cities. Alright, let's go in and see. Super cool. Okay. Ah, uh, that's Siam Center. And Siam Discovery is that way also, I think. It's crazy. And I think since then, also a new department store opened up called Icon Siam. And there's an Apple store in there that I've never been to um, in in 2022 or 2021 actually I worked at Apple retail for some time and that store opened up at around the same time and I, I remember that I uh, was looking into it oh yeah this is what I remember about say on Paragon it's the entrance so fancy and well decorated see the water the rest area and the different decorations i would assume that yeah i mean i know that you see hermes this is one of the more fancy department stores but still it's very well done and yesterday a pop uh, an old friend of mine came to pick me up at the airport and that was already 10 11 p.m and he's so nice he drove me to two places chinatown to have a lot of good food, desserts, uh, bird nest, you know, mango with fish sauce and and things like that. And we went to another new department store or new mall kind of place that's 24-7. That's near Chulalongkorn University. And uh, he said that it's it's that, like very well suited for students because students uh, tend to stay up late. Uh, and I just think it's so crazy. Like I never see anything like that in Taiwan. And when I was in uh, when I was in Dubai, I thought a mall open until one a.m. is crazy enough. But you know, now there's a twenty-four-seven mall that I've been to. I open it. So anyway, I just think that Thailand 
or Bangkok specifically. It's just what a crazy city, isn't it? All right, so now I don't remember this this part of the mall too much. Oh, Massimo Dutti, this is one of the new brands that I discovered uh, recent. In I mean, it's been a few years, but uh, after my visit to Bangkok last time, so I will go in and take a look. Anyway, this is a short video that, doc that, that documents uh, my second visit to Bangkok, and I am still loving it. Uh, it's crazy how many friends I have here that I am going to meet up with. It's it's gonna be super fun. So all right, I'm gonna go in and explore.